Rachel Carson, 1907 to 1964, was once a marine scientist and environmentalist who wrote, significantly on the have an effect on human behavior was once having on the planet. Her seminal work, Silent Spring, 1962, was once influential in elevating environmental troubles and questioning the course of human scientific progress. Her work is extensively viewed as a founding e book of the contemporary environmental movement. We stand now the place two roads diverge. But, not like the roads in Robert Frost's acquainted poem, they are now not equally fair. The street, we have lengthy been traveling is deceptively easy, a clean superhighway on which we growth with extraordinary speed, however at its quit lies disaster. The different fork of the street, the one much less traveled by means of affords our last, our solely hazard to attain a vacation spot that assures the maintenance of the earth. Rachel Carson, Silent Spring, 1962, p. 277 Carson was once born the 27th of May 1907 on her family farm in Springdale, Pennsylvania, shut to the industrial town of Pittsburgh. As a child, she was once something of a loner, playing spending time in nature and exploring her household's farm. As she grew up, she was once conscious of the expanded industrialization of the region, and she should see smoke billowing from close by factories. She grew to become conscious of the fee of this industrial air pollution and how it affected existence in the neighborhood area. From an early age, she had a sturdy trust she would turn out to be a writer. Aged 11, she gained first prize for an essay posted in St. Nicholas Magazine. Carson graduated from Pennsylvania College for Women in 1929 with a predominant in biology. In 1932, she accomplished a master's diploma in zoology at John Hopkins University. Her thesis was the development of the chronophros during the embryonic and early larval life of the catfish. She hoped to proceed her research and attain a doctorate, however her family's dire monetary role in the magnificent despair intended she had to her seeking for a full-time instructing role and additionally appear after her ill mother. Rachel underscore Carson Rachel underscore Carson with Bib Hines conducting marine research in 1935, Carson received a function with the U.S. Bureau of Fisheries giving instructional radio talks about marine and aquatic life. Her announces had been nicely obtained as she managed to provide an explanation for troubles in a fascinating and comprehensible way. This led to in addition writing possibilities and she used to be promoted to a full-time function of expert aquatic biologist for the U.S. Fisheries Bureau. In her expert work, Carson used to be accountable for producing facts on fishing populations, however in her spare time, she additionally wrote tales about marine lifestyles and voyages alongside the seafloor. Carson was once given a contract via Simon & Schuster to write a e-book depicting this unfamiliar terrain. In 1941, she posted, Under the Sea Wind. She additionally had countless essays posted in a range of magazines and newspapers. After the war, she was once retained by using the new United States Fish and Wildlife Service, however pressured by means of administrative duties she wished to dedicate her time to writing full-time. After profitable e-book of The Sea, Around Us, 1951, she used to be in a position to depart the civil provider in 1952. The Sea, Around Us, was once at existence records of the ocean. It was once posted by way of Oxford University Press and serialized in The New Yorker. It was once an extremely good publishing success, and was once made into a documentary film. The movie gained the Academy Award for Best Documentary. Feature, 1953, however Carson was once very sad with the pseudo-scientific script and nature of the film. Her poetical prose on the ocean was once became into a trilogy with the closing volumes being 
The Edge of the Sea. 1955, if there is poetry in my e-book about the sea, it is now not. Due to the fact I intentionally put it there, however due to the fact no one may want to write easily about the sea and go away out the poetry. Acceptance speech of the National Book Award. For nonfiction, 1952, in these books, Carson provided a compelling biography of the ocean and the interplay between the exceptional animals and ecosystems. As properly as explaining the biology of the ocean, it additionally contained an imaginative and prescient for defending the oceans and ecosystems through public education. The greater really we can focal point our interest on the wonders and realities of the universe about us the much less style we shall have for the destruction of our race. Wonder and humility are healthful emotions, and they do now not exist. Aspect by means of aspect with a lust for destruction. Speech accepting the John Burroughs Medal. April 1952, Carson additionally wrote different articles designed to inspire and hobby and marvel. In the herbal world, Carson held a super trust that we must preserve a childlike surprise in the herbal world. Important articles blanketed, Help Your Child to Wonder, 1956, and, R. Ever-Changing Shore, 1957, A Child's World is Clean and New and Beautiful, Full of Surprise and Excitement. It is our misfortune that for most of us that clear-eyed vision, that actual intuition for what is stunning and awe-inspiring, is dimmed and even misplaced earlier than we attain adulthood. The Sense of Wonder, 1965, throughout her life, Carson remained single. Though in 1957, one of her nieces died, leaving a five-year-old orphan son, Roger Christie. Carson adopted the boy and took the duty for bringing him up, alongside with her aging mother. In 1957, she moved to Silver Spring, Maryland to care for her nephew. Carson was once very shut. Pals to Dorothy Freeman, who she met in 1953. They shared in considerable letter writing. Friendship and Carson liked their frequent pastimes and Freeman's assist for her work. In the post-war periods, she more and more became to the subject matter of ecological conservation. She joined conservation agencies and started out exploring the influence of monetary improvement on the environment. The 40s and 50s noticed a duration of fast expand in the use of pesticides, such as DDT. The U.S. Department of Agriculture used to be actively encouraging familiar spraying of chemical compounds to eradicate pests such as fireplace ants and gypsy moth, regardless of having little checking out for civilian use. Carson spent significant time learning the penalties of this new pesticide spraying program and she gathered proof about the risks of the usage of DDT. Carson used to be well connected in the scientific neighborhood and she used to be given giant proof from Dr. Ehrenfried Pfeiffer who headed a team of natural market gardeners. She additionally grew to become conscious of the effective lobbying of representatives from the chemical industry who had been well resourced to deny any achievable injury from chemical production. From this research, Carson wrote a book, which grew to be Silent Spring, whilst without delay targeting the problem of pesticides, such as DDT, it raised wider troubles such as difficult the orthodox opinion that scientific and monetary development was once constantly a excellent thing. Carson became this view on its head, suggesting that by way of ignoring the environment, we had been heading closer to a dystopian future, the place man would go through from falling out of concord with the planet and the environment. These sprays, dusts, and aerosols are now utilized nearly universally to farms, gardens, forests, and properties, non-selective chemical compounds that have the electricity to kill each and every insect, the good, and the bad, too. Nonetheless, the track of birds and the leaping of fish in the streams, to coat the leaves with a 
lethal film, and to linger on in soil, all this although the supposed goal may additionally be solely a few weeds or insects. Can every body trust it is viable to lay down such a barrage of poisons on the floor of the earth besides making it unfit for all life? They have to no longer be known as insecticides, however, biocides. Rachel Carson, Silent Sprint, 1962. P.189 Carson used to be additionally imperative of the chemical enterprise and their strategy of making an attempt to shout down criticism and selectively promote research sympathetic to the industry. She was once additionally necessary of authorities' agencies, who regarded too inclined to facet with the chemical groups and their lobbying. The e-book used to be serialized in the New Yorker, 1962, and was once chosen as Book of the Month for October, with beneficial critiques. In the New York Times, the e-book grew to be excessive profile, something heightened with the aid of a scandal breaking about the chemical thalidomide and its hyperlink with delivery defects. On publication, the chemical enterprise replied with literature defending pesticide use. They threatened to sue and there used to be criticism of Carson's character. However, the marketing campaign backfired as greater than something it raised the profile of the viable risks of pesticide use. Carson seemed on CBS Reviews TV distinct and this program used to be well received. Assisting to swing public opinion at the back of her book, Carson acquired Severa talking invites such as supplying testimony to the U.S. Senate subcommittee. However, tragically, at the second of being at the top of public profile, her fitness was once failing as her breast most cancers returned. Weakened via chemotherapy, she grew to be unwell with a respiratory virus in early 1964. By February she had developed anemia and her most cancers had reached her liver. She handed away from a coronary heart assault on the 14th of April 1964. Legacy, Silent Spring, used to be a necessary turning factor for the environmental motion and the uncritical use of pesticides. By 1972, the Environmental Defense Fund had succeeded in phasing out the use of DDT. But, perhaps, greater importantly, it laid a groundwork for the deep ecology movement, which sought to region environmental issues about momentary materialistic convenience. It equipped without difficulty into the new social actions of the 1960s, which sought to task long-held orthodoxies.